Today I'm doing a step-by-step -step guide on how to do a self-portrait. I'm going to give lots of tips along the way and hopefully break it down into something quite easy. So all you need to do a self-portrait is a mirror, uh, the bigger the better but even small is fine, something to draw on, I've got a sketch pad, um, it's really helpful if you've got hard back so it gives you something to lean against but you can use anything. And I've chosen some coloured pencils to use, inspired by all the rainbow drawings I've seen around. So I wanted to start off by taking some inspiration from some of my favourite self-portraits. Up on the National Portrait Gallery's Instagram page at Beanie's David Hockney Self-Portraits. It said that David Hockney set himself a challenge to draw himself exactly as he was that day. And my favourite of all these is the one he's done on his iPad. I love the use of colour, those piercing blue eyes, the glasses and the hat. You might want to think whether you want to wear your favourite hat for this drawing, whether you want to make a feature of your glasses if you like them especially, or maybe you've got favourite earrings you want to wear. One of the other things I really like about this portrait that David Hockney did on his iPad is how he left some of the light background colour to create areas of lightness on the face and really helps bring it to life. Okay, so on with the drawing. Make sure you're comfortable, get yourself set up. Can you see your full face in the mirror? So the first step is just looking. So I want you to look at your face and think what shapes you can see. Um, looking at my face, you can see that there's a bit of a, a gentle curve down, a shallow chin, that the darkest parts of my head at the moment are this side of my hair, and then I've got and the eyes, the nostrils and the mouth. Otherwise it's quite light, with a bit of shadow under the chin. And one top trick that all drawers know is that your eyes are halfway up your head. So you can check that measurement on your head too and see if that's something to concentrate on. So having a good look and getting familiar. And now to start drawing. So step two is then doing light marks at the top of your head and where your chin is. And that helps you get the drawing where you want it on the paper. And now step three, draw the outline shape of your face, joining up the two marks and remembering all the shapes you saw when you were doing that looking and concentrating. And it's just a light mark, so you can correct it later or make any adjustments you need. And sometimes mistakes can help you know where the line should be. So that's, you can check that. And then Step four is for eyes. So we know the eyes are halfway down the head. And looking at the width of them, on my face there's about five eyes, width-wise on the across my head. And the space between my eyes is the same as the width of one eye. Now I just Gently draw the shape in and bring everyone's eyes a different shape, so try and observe what shape yours are. Check that you've got them the same size. And I like to just lightly draw in lashes, pupil, this is just quick marks and then you can go and come back and add more later. And I've got a dark line where my lid is so I'll just draw that in gently and a quick mark for the shape of my eyebrows. Arching up like that. 
Okay, and then step five, you want to drop down to draw the nose. And so you can check where the edge of the nose is in line with the eye. And think about how long your nose is. My nose is about, if I take the length of my eye, or how wide my eye is, I can probably fit about one and a half eyes in my nose. So it can be helpful to make sort of comparisons like that to help you place your nose in the right place. And it's only really one line you can see going round the side, under the bottom where the nostril is, up, up for the other nostril. And then we go on to the mouth, step six. So you can look at how far your mouth is from your nose and where your mouth comes in terms of in line with your eyes. So the edge of my mouth is about just before the pupils on my eye. So I can draw that in and just gently still sketching the shape of my mouth and the dark line between it. Yours might be a straight line or see how it goes up and down. Where does the bottom lip start? And where does the top lip start? A bit further in for me. Exaggerated that a bit too much. And a good tip is to spend more time looking at what you're drawing, so in the mirror, than at the paper. And then check your chin from here. Okay. Uh, and now step seven, if we draw in some of the hairline and some of the hair, so you think about how big your forehead is. I'm going to draw a bit more eyebrow to help me know. Uh -huh. And then my hair comes in like that. And think about the shape and texture of your hair. Mine's quite floppy. And it goes up like that. And down. Uh, I've got a bit dropping off there. And how much of your ears can you see? And another useful measurement is that your ears are in line with your eyes, so the top of your ear is in line with the top of your eye. I think at that. You can't see much of my ears, you might be able to see more of yours. Okay, and so step eight, now you've got every all the basics in, have a look and make any adjustments you want to make. Add the neck in now. And really look and check what the shapes of your face. I'm just going to make that a bit softer and rounder and larger. And as you feel more confident, you can start making the lines a bit darker and drawing more details because you know you've got them in the right place. I'll draw the eyelashes in a bit more. And it starts to really come together. Oops. Uh, have a pause from drawing, check that it's looking good. Any glaring mistakes at this stage. Okay, and then from here, Step nine, the final step, is adding tone. It's probably take the longest. And remember that dark lines will bring things to the front. So think about where you want those bold lines to be. You can think about other colours to introduce at this stage. And you can think about warm and dark colours, or if you want to use any colour you want. I'll just speed this bit up.